Hey now, Mike Shemin here, and I want to show you how to make a squeeze page with, with the Divi theme. So go ahead and check this video out, and if you like it, hit like, hit subscribe. But let me know in the comments how you like it, and, and if it helps you out. Stay tuned for the video. Hey now, Mike Shemin here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a squeeze page, also known as a landing page. You can call it whatever you like. I'm going to show you how to do one today. So first, I start by doing my landing pages or squeeze pages in the Divi Builder by Divi or by Elegant Themes, the Divi theme. All right, I'm gonna to go to my template, go to blank page. I just started from scratch and added a text box. Okay, I'm gonna go publish right now. Okay, now that the page is loaded, go to view page, enable visual builder. All right, now I'm gonna to go to this uh, section setting right here. And I'm gonna just background image. All right, we're gonna do, there we go, check. All right, and now let's go ahead in the middle here and go to settings, or actually, Where's our text? Go to text settings. Okay. Okay, type in your headline. And go design and text. And we're using Open Sans. That's the default there. So I'm just going to go to um, make. I'm going to make this white actually. So I got ultra bold, and then let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, and then the spacing is fine. And, and let's add a little shadow to this just to make it stand out just a little bit. Let's do four. Okay. And then that looks good. Alignment. I want centered. So let's go to center. All right, check that. Now let's get some other text in there. Or let's get that one. Let's get some other text. Okay. Just gonna be that and I'm gonna go to text in white. All right, and let's go to 18. Actually, let's go over this. 21, line height, fix that line height. All right, and then let's center that. All right. And then erase that and let's go ahead and do an opt-in. Okay, this is the squeeze part. We're squeezing, squeezing their email address out. We're just gonna go to not any of this. We don't want any of this text. So we're just gonna delete it. And then, oh, the button's gonna say, uh, get instant access. All right, the, the content, delete that. And then go design and layout. And it's gonna be body on the bottom, form on top. Actually, reverse that. There you go. Okay, and then for spacing, just zero everything out for the top and bottoms. Okay, if you have content and background, uh, we don't want a background color. Okay, go to fields and actually go to design and fields. And you want to go down to border. Get a border on there, okay. And now you can do the button. Use custom style. All right, we'll do a text color is gonna be blue. And then the background color is gonna be yellow. And the border width is gonna be three pixels blue. Actually two, two pixels. All right, and let's change the button font or at least let's make it bold. Actually, we're gonna do this font. We're gonna do Oswald. All right, and then we're gonna do italic and we're gonna do a bold. Okay, and then we're gonna increase the font size. shadow on it again a small one all right and actually let's do a let's do a border radius on this one make it rounded let's increase the border with a little bit there you go. All 
All right, and then let's do a box shadow on it. Let's do this. Oh, that's on the whole thing, not on that. Go back to border. We should go back to button. And just do that one. All right, and I'm not even going to touch it because I like the way it is right now. Okay, and then let's go to the settings here. All right, and we're going to go to background and make it a black background. And we're going to go down here and do that. Okay, let's go to border now. Let's go to two, I think. Yeah, two looks all right. All right, oh man, we gotta fix that spacing. Check, which we will. Okay, let's go back to settings here and go to design and uh, spacing. Zero everything out so we know right where we're at. Okay, and this is for the row and for the left and right, do zero as well. And actually for the, um, if you go to sizing and you go to alignment right here, for alignment in the center. Okay, we're going to max width at 1920. Okay, and then for the sizing, you want to bring it down. But let's do the um, spacing first. I think we're just going to do 64 all the way around on the top and the bottom and the left and the right. Okay. And uh, let's go to sizing now. Okay, now let's bring her down a little bit. And we gotta fix that. Uh, if you go to here, settings, design, text. And we gotta fix this to 1.3, 1.2. All right. And you know, you can put a picture in here too if you wanna put a picture image got a picture of your ebook and design and sizing this is going to depend on how big your thing is anyway so and then alignment so you can do an, uh, a page like that I'm gonna take that out but um, you want to see how that this isn't very much padding there or, or margin so I'm so good design and spacing and let's go with uh 32 on the top and let's see. we'll see there whatever the default was was uh was good and i like the default whatever that was but on the bottom let's just go at um like 300 pixels ah oh that's bottom padding yep bottom margin 300 pixels oh, oh no it had uh, <laughs> Three hundred pixels. All right, check. Now let's check it out on mobile phone, tablet. Oh my gosh, on tablet, you just gotta go settings, design, sizing, the width, hundred percent. Actually, let's do ninety percent. It's usually good for the padding. For phone, go hundred percent. And then what we'll also do is go to uh, check. We'll go to actually go back to that design and sizing for the phone phones at 90 percent as well okay so check and now for the headline we're going to bring that down a little bit on the phone go back to text and then let's see oh, it's on desktop 42 is fine phone Go 28 check and this on the phone is going to be uh, 18 so just go back to design and text go back to the phone and go 18 all right now what we'll do is we'll go to the section settings or the row settings again go design and spacing and then on the padding for the phone we'll do I like 3% usually 
I want to do 5% maybe. 5% for 1,000 bucks. And actually, I got to exit out of that. Go back to row settings, go to design, spacing. And for the left and the right, we're just going to do 16. All right, and then let's see how that folds down. Very nicely, very nice. Now let's go to that button. I don't want that icon there. Design, button. I don't want the icon at all. Nope. Oops. There we go. And then let's bring that font size down just a tad bit. So if you on the phone, let's bring it down to 24. All right. And there you go. Save this. All right, and that's how you do a uh, squeeze page in Divi. And now actually one thing I will say is that whenever you do this form, you want to make sure that you have the, the your email account hooked up. Okay, I use get response for mine personally. And then um, you want a success action. Okay, you want it to go to a URL. You put the URL link there. All right, if you're using an affiliate link, this is where it would go. Okay, or if you're doing a, um, if you just want a message, you can display a message, but usually the URL is the way to go. All right, so make sure you got those linked up and that will all begin to work nicely for you. I have to go back to this, go design and spacing. If I go to the phone, it should be 16, but if I go to the desktop, it should be 64. Something got lost in the translation there. Phone 16. All right. That's it. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video, and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, guys, that's how you create a squeeze page in Divi. So I hope it helps you out. You know, in my journey along creating these squeeze pages and stuff, I've been using GetResponse as my email autoresponder. I don't get any spam with it. I haven't had any spam people sign up or anything like that. So go ahead and check that out if you're using a squeeze page. And then go ahead and check out DiviPlant.com for five free layouts. See you in the next video.